So here we have a titration situation where we have acid that is uh, placed inside of, let's say, an Erlenmeyer flask. We've got base and a bure, and we've recorded that 17 plus mils of the base is needed um, to neutralize or to get to the endpoint of the indicator um, of 25 mils of 0 0.105 molar uh hydrochloric acid. We'll do our same three steps where initially we're going to find the number of moles of the known. So one of these two substances, we know both volume and concentration. Uh, we're going to verify our ratio. And then we're going to, in this case, find the concentration of the NaOH. So last step is always solving for an unknown. So let's start with the number of moles of the known. And what's happened is that they have they are here inside of the Erlenmeyer flask right since the beginning of the experiment. So we've got 0 0.105 moles of HCl in one liter of the solution. And we know that we have 25 milliliters of the solution. So we're trying to determine the number of moles and that will come out to being, if we cross multiply, 's is the the number of moles both of the HCl as well as the H because the HCl is going to dissociate it's a strong acid so it will dissociate in a one-to-one -one ratio and then our um, sodium hydroxide which is in the bure is also um, dissociating in, into a one-to-one -one ratio so we've got that nice one-to-one -one ratio so we can assume then that um, the number of moles OH will equal to the number of moles of H at the um, equalization point, which is very close to the end point in these titrations. So we'll get 0 0.002625 moles OH. So now we're going to solve for the unknown. We know that we've delivered 17 milliliters. Um, seventeen point two two, <laughs> and in that seventeen point two two, we must have delivered exactly this number of moles of OH to be equal and to get us to our equivalence point. So we'll just do that division and we'll find 0 0.1524 moles per one liter of the sodium hydroxide.